Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So you decided to upgrade from the factory keybinds in Microsoft Flight Simulator and have downloaded SPAD, FSUIPC, or MobiFlight. But where do you find all of the LVARs for your third-party aircraft? Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, I will go over where you can find all of the LVARs for any of your third-party aircraft that are not purchased through the Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace. I can only conclude that any of the default aircraft, as well as any of the third-party aircraft downloaded through the Marketplace, do not use any LVARs in their configuration. Instead, they are using B events or SIM events to activate any of the functions in the cockpit or the aircraft. For that reason, we are only going to be focusing on any third-party aircraft that you have downloaded and installed in your community folder. Now, I'm not going to be going over how to program any of these LVARs into your applications like SPAD, MobiFlight, or FSUIPC. I simply want to show you where you can find all of these LVARs so that you can start programming for your hardware device. Now with that out of the way, if you have any comments or questions, please post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's content or found it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. The first thing we need to do is to locate your community folder on your PC. Now if you're unsure of where you can find your community folder, I'll post a link to a video I did down below in the description of a small program that can help you find it. I will also post the address that is up in the address bar here down below in the description. You'll just have to copy and paste your computer name instead of mine. Now one side note, I am using the store version of Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you're on the Steam version, your community folder may be in a different location. Also, if you're someone who is using add-on linker and does not have these add-ons in your community folder, obviously you would need to go to the location of wherever you are storing your add-ons for your third-party aircraft. For demonstration today, I'm going to pick a couple different aircraft to show you. The reason for this is every developer is going to set up the XML file differently. Some make it very easy to find this information and others it's kind of a trial and error. So the first aircraft that I want to show you is the TBM 850 by Black Square. They've done a fantastic job organizing all of their LVARs. First thing we want to do is to click on the folder of the aircraft. And then we're going to go up and find the Sim Objects folder. We're going to double click there. And then you're going to go up to Airplanes, double click there. Then we're going to click on the Black Square TBM 850 folder. From here, we're looking for the Model folder. As you can see, it's the second folder down, so we're going to click on that folder. Once you're in this folder, the file that we're looking for is the analog TBM interior XML file. Now, if we take a look at the files that we have listed, we have to kind of do a process of elimination here. As you can see, we have an analog TBM exterior model, but I don't see an interior XML file. So that would only lead me to believe that the only one that is not labeled is most likely going to be the interior XML file. For opening these XML files, I highly recommend to use an application like Notepad++ as it will color coordinate things for you. So if I open that up, this is what you're going to be left with. And now I know it may look a little bit daunting at first, but let me show you how we're going to navigate through this. It does get a little bit easier. Now keep in mind, this developer has organized this very, very well. As you'll see on the left-hand side, we'll have all the different inputs that we would need for this aircraft. To the right of those inputs are the LVARs that we're going to use to control that input. And as you see, they've done a really, really nice job with listing all the various LVARs that you could possibly need for the TBM 850. Now let's say that there is an LVAR that you just cannot find up here in the top. All we would do is hit Control F on your keyboard and now you can type in whatever you're looking for. 
So if you're looking for certain switches, you can hit switch, then find, and then it will highlight all the words that say switch throughout the entire XML file. The next aircraft I want to take a look at is the A2A Comanche. So if we double click on the Comanche folder, again, we're going to go down to the Sim Objects folder, Airplanes, the PA24, and once we're here, again, we're going to find the Model folder, and now we're going to look for the interior XML file. If we go down, they've got it labeled beautifully here below. We're going to right click and then we can open with Notepad. Now, once we're in this file, as you will see, we don't have everything laid out so nicely for us. Now, that's not to detract from any of the work that these guys have put into the aircraft. It's just how some developers kind of organize the XML file. So for something like this, you really need to utilize the find feature, control F, and now it'll bring up the find menu. First thing that comes up is the nav instrument light switch percent. So if you're going to adjust your nav instrument lights, this will be your LVAR that you would use. And as you can see, we have a percentage between zero and a hundred, it looks like. And again, these are going to vary between every aircraft. So some of it is going to be a little bit of a trial and error. Okay, so the next aircraft we're going to take a look at is the PMDG 737. Now, remember I said earlier, this is going to be for most third-party aircraft. And I'm going to show you one that just does not have any LVARs attached to it. So if we click on PMDG 737, we go up to Sim Objects, Airplanes, 737-700. And we have a couple different model folders here. If we click on either of these two model folders, we do not have an XML file that is in this folder or in this folder. So the only thing I can assume here is that because PMDG made this model accessible to Xbox users, that they may have had to eliminate any LVARs that are in the aircraft and are solely using B events or Microsoft Flight Simulator events. So you may run into a situation like that. And if you're using an application like SPAD, there is an event monitor that you can turn on. And then when you start flipping switches inside of the aircraft, it will populate on the event monitor as to what event just took place. The last aircraft that I want to take a look at is the SimWorks Studio PC-12. Again, we're going to click on the aircraft. Sim objects, airplanes. We have several different versions of the PC-12. They're all gonna be the same as far as the interior XML file. So I'm just gonna pick the first one that's here. Once we're in this folder, you're gonna notice that we have several different model folders over here on the left-hand side. And that's why this can get a little bit confusing sometimes because not everything is going to be clearly labeled where you can find these LVARs. So what you'll have to do, again, is process of elimination and open up these folders to see what's inside. If we open this up and check out the interior, you will see this file is very, very small, and it doesn't really give us any information here. It's most likely not the XML file that we're looking for. So after you go through each of these and find out that, hey, none of these have our XML file in it that we're looking for, once I get to the model.cockpit underscore OG, this probably means the original model cockpit file folder. So if I click on this one, you'll see at the very bottom, we have an interior XML file. If we click on that, yep, this is the one we need. So again, this developer does not organize everything as nicely as the black square. So you're going to have to go through here and find what you're looking for. So for demonstration, we're going to try to find the terrain inhibit button that's on the inside of the cockpit. So we type in terrain over here on the left. We have an LVAR for talls underscore push underscore terrain inhibit. So that would be the LVAR that you're going to use for the terrain inhibit switch. Again, I'm not going to show you how to program these LVARs. I'm just showing you where you can find them. All right, so that's going to finish us up with today's video. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. Thanks everybody for joining us on the channel, and if you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. 
To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.